for the wonders you will do. Don't worry, just sit down. Don't worry, I won't sing for long. For the wonders you are doing, Lord, I will sing hallelujah. Ah, shout hallelujah unto the Lord. In Yoruba, we say it's Funche Yanu Tetin She. Eme Ake, hallelujah. Funche Yanu Tetin She. Eme Ake, hallelujah. Are you sure? The boss Jesus. I got my boo, hallelujah, boo, eh, para, hallelujah, para, and I Ah, for wonders you have done for me. For wonders you will do, Lord. I say, for wonders you have done for me. Sing hallelujah, eh, sing hallelujah. On to yes, life is a gift. You know, I was just at home yesterday. I was thinking about this life. If I ask the engineers now that I'm five feet tall, five feet five inches. If you are going to erect something that will not be buried in the ground, that will stand on the surface. How will the brace be? We have two engineers sitting on the same row. 5.5 feet above the ground. And it must not be buried down. And you want to brace it to stand and not fall. Either backward, forward, or sideward. How, should I use the word, how wide do you think that the daily enforcement will be? uh -huh. Like, give us, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying now, look at what God used to brace our standing in front, sir. Engineers are saying it's a miracle because if you look at the length of the, bra the brace in front, it's too short to carry this height. What about the one at the back? Yeah, look to kill it. What about what is bracing us beside? The day I saw one man died in the former Carnation Hospital, they were rushing him out of his car to take him to the hospital. He couldn't stand again. He was just like the table. Just like that was when I discovered that if you are looking for any miracle that you are standing alone, it's a miracle. The length cannot keep you standing. That's why you see that when you are building, you dig to make the, sound, the foundation that will carry the one on the surface to be very deep. For God, we, in God, we don't have any foundation. Let's say none. Look where we are. Ah, then, no buy. Ah, no buy. Say, I'm a living miracle. That's why you have to learn to thank the Lord who has made you a miracle. Because some of you are crying, hey, 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 this year, this year, this year, the things that did not happen are the things you are talking about. I've just shown you one, that you are standing alone. You know, if you get to go and try it, get a wood of five point of your, your height, if not my height. Brace it at the level of your leg, the length of your leg. Use it to brace it and see whether it will stand. And stand. Let's be on our feet as we read together the scriptures for this morning. Genesis chapter 8, verse 20 to verse 22. They said people are requesting for Thanksgiving envelope. Ah, the problem is that we gave all out to the Ayegun church. 
So you know what you should do for me? Give them an ordinary envelope. While you are standing, please, brother, precious, I think you come forward. Let them, I announce you before you, you were working at the power department to make sure that there is light in church. His mom is in church. I was seeing her too for the very first time today. Please, mommy, mommy, I didn't enjoy my but why you take money? Let's keep clapping for them. Your son is a very good person in this church. So, present you more pressure. You know, he really so a minimum son precious. Because I look at him one day, I say, Your name is Ilili. I've never when your name is promised, you may not see fulfillment. Because people will just be promising you according to your name. Promise, promise, promise. I want you to come out. Lady, 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 So I, it was Winnie that reminded me yesterday. We we're talking about you at home. That, that, that you forgot that you brought him in front. And he said, Today I name you precious. Shall you are precious by? So he's, he'll be getting married, the church one, on the 9th of. January. And he said, I should announce it. See, please join in. He did it officially. They have gone to pay dowry in the east. He came back and was telling me, ah, that's why we're in 10 dates, Igbo. Me buying, we continue. He told me one news. He said, as they started, they, they wanted to start. They asked for the list. His father in law have changed the list to reduce it. All the people stood up and went back to their various houses. Yeah. And they said if they don't see 500,000, they will not sit down. So they bribed the first set with 200,000, bribed the second set with another 200,000, another one set with 100,000 before they assemble again. And he said, I'm born again, Ibu. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to to bad but in your mind change and one tradition come or come in your little dale are you hearing me you are born again you are different from the others and you will not to ban why you are because you are warfare if you love your wife you pay the price so join us on the 9th of january what time is that again 11 a.m because they are going for the registry in the morning then they will join us here by 11. god bless you mommy you are welcome god bless you ma she lives in Zaria. God bless you. Can we read the scriptures right now? Put it on screen. If there's any other announcement, we'll let you know. Please make sure you celebrate Shifolu for us. Seeing him all the way from America for the first time this year. You know when he's around, you know he's around. <laughs> you know we have different children in Christ. If Mr. Lou is around, you cannot be dull. No dull moment with him. If you look at your face, you know that you are not happy. He makes you happy. You are welcome. They will deliver the 50 chairs that we bought. His family used, God used that, his family to bring the 50 chairs in the first week of January. They told us that they have finished it, but they closed uh, their factory uh, for the year last week, Friday. So by first week of January, the 50 rare banquet chairs will be delivered all the way from their company in Abel Kuta. So what could drum set start your song? Oh yeah, let's read, let's read, let's read, let's read. Let's read. Let's read. Are we set? One, two, and let's go. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and took of every clean animal and of every clean bird and offered burnt offerings on the altar. Verse 21. And the Lord smelled a soothing aroma. Then the Lord said in his heart, I will never again curse the ground for man's sake. Although the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth, nor will I again destroy every living thing as I have done. Then verse 22. That's the last reading for this morning. One, two, and let's go. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, and day and night shall not cease. Father, give us revelation again this day and let 
us catch the fire of thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we are prayed. And amen. Praise the Lord. Take your seats in his presence. Take your seats in his presence. Take your seats in his presence. You know, when I when I read this scripture, I was preparing for this Thanksgiving on um, I prepared for it on Thursday. I started preparing it on Thursday. And the Spirit of the Lord led me to go and read this scripture. You know, please come down a bit. To go and read this scripture. And you know what kept coming to my heart? Let's not forget the instruction that uh, Noah had before he went to the ark. What was the instruction? God said to Noah, 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 sir, Noah, sir, let all animals come in twos. One male, Abi, one female. One male, one female. There's going to be flood. And Noah built the ark according to God's instruction. And he sat at the entrance of the ark and animals kept coming, male and female. One male, one female, one male, one female, until they all, they all entered the ark. The Bible says, and God did what? God shut the ark by himself. God shut the ark. And there was flood. We know the story. Now, the flood came up for about 40 days. And by the time Noah came out of the ark, the Bible made us to understand that um, the, there was not a living soul on earth again. There was not a living soul on earth again. Now, that's why I'll be asking the first question, why did Noah come up with thanksgiving? Because if you look at the scriptures, I'll put all my teachings today, the four questions, we'll put it in, in questions, then we'll answer. Why did he come up with thanksgiving? Now, why did Noah come up with thanksgiving? Now, and the reason why I will ask this question is so that you can understand what thanksgiving actually is. He came out of the ark and the Bible says, you know, he started to sacrifice unto the Lord. Now, let's start by saying it. Thanksgiving is what I call a show of appreciation. Now, if anybody asks you, the, the short meaning of thanksgiving is a show you put up in order to show appreciation. Anything you put up in order to show appreciation is what we call thanksgiving. Either to God or to man. You know, I have seen, I've, at least I did, at least that's happened to me several times where some of our staffs in church will just, they've done surprise birthdays for me before like that. They come up to say, sir, you know, I'll just get to church and I see, I've seen my wife done that for me. Now, thanksgiving is show of appreciation. Thanksgiving is not just to come and dance and dance or wear clothes or come. No, 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 no. The foundation for Thanksgiving is that you have come to realize that something good has been done to you and you want to show appreciation. Now, and that's one thing any child of God that wants to involve in Thanksgiving must first understand. Thanksgiving is not a display of wealth. I have money. No, no, no. It's not a display of wealth. The foundation for the thanksgiving that God will accept must be that in the innermost part of your heart, you have discovered that God has done something for you and you want to show appreciation for it. So the meeting that we gather today is a meeting that we have gathered for those who wants to show appreciation. I wrote here, it means that Noah's action was a show of appreciation to God. Listen, he, 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 he discovered that it was only his family that was left on earth. What have you discovered? If you have not discovered anything, whatever we are doing today will not make sense to you. I'm telling you, what we are doing today will not make sense. Could it make sense? Is it because to you, you just look at it as it, it's like maybe the church just wants to take money from us. Let me just put one, one, one thousand inside that envelope and just leave. Let them leave me alone. No, 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 no. It's not even about the money. It is about the heart. It is about the heart. The, the, I come again about the heart. What have you discovered about 2023 that God has done for you that has made you to decide to say, ah, today I have come before the Lord. I want to say thank you to him. Do you know that a person can enjoy favor and may not know that he's enjoying it. It may be people around that will be saying, like my dear, my bad, don't you really go? 
ah, I envy you. And the person will be saying that it's nothing special about my life. Such people can never be thankful. That's why in my tribe we used to say, Enitoba monuro neko loma moped, which means it is only thinkers that are tankers. Only those that can really think, that, that, that can think so deep, that can really come out to say, ah, 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 ah. That's why when I look at the year 2023, ah, if, I, if, if we talk about the most common thing this year is death. A lot of people died this year. Why am I not among them? It's the mercy of God. Why is it that nobody in our church is among the Anunio? It's the mercy of God. So if there's nothing to thank God for, at least look at yourself and say, uh-uh, after all, I'm alive. You know, because look up, the devil has a way of making people not to think, think of thank, thank, thanking God. You know why? How he does it? He does it by making you to see your current situation. He will always show you a current challenge. That's the devil's strategy. At this level of your life, oh my Richard, who the shop alone that I see no beloved. I am my year when you are to be shut to the key in we rura a to a little one way only one key. Touch and so I in fact to bat your league alone to bat your league back book 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 I've taught you severally on that. Every year I used to teach you on Thanksgiving. I showed you how Jesus, our Lord, ministered to ten leopards. It was last year I showed you that. Ten leopards. And the ten of them, he told them to go show themselves to the priest. And when they went, they were whole healed. But one came back. But Jesus asked, where are the other nine? He didn't tell them to return. But he expected them to return. God may not say to you, thank me, but he expects you to say thank you to him. He may not tell you directly, but he expects you. He expects you to reason, to understand. Just like one of the ones I've just shown you now, what is making you to remain standing. That's why you will see that if they don't embalm a dead person, he cannot be standing without support. Ah, Lord, I thank you. Let's go to the next question because of my time. Hmm. I wrote here, this show, this shows us that the only way a person can generate a thankful heart, hear me, is when he or she realizes the things, that is certain things he or she enjoys that is not common to all. So what did Noah realize? Noah realized that only me and my family left in the whole of the earth. He and Uneo. I wrote here, until you reason this way, you may not understand how to be thankful. Not everybody has what you have. I'm telling you the fact. There are certain things about you that is not common to all. Go and look at the Bible. You see that God never distributes things equally. How do I know, the, no, no, how do I know this? The parable of the talent shows it. He gave some five. He gave some two. He gave one one. God doesn't distribute things equally. But listen, you must learn to appreciate the one you have. Who told you that with the one that you have, you cannot do exploit? After all, what did Esau ask for? When Esau came back, Daddy, bless me. Daddy said, I've blessed your brother. I've given you a blessing. He said, don't you have any other blessing in your mouth for me? Even if it is one, bless me. I love Esau for that. And the father said, okay, I'll bless you with this one. He blessed him with that one. 
21 years after he met his brother Jacob, the Bible says he came with 400 men. When his brother saw him, his brother called him my Lord. His brother gave him gift. He said, I don't need it. I already have. His brother started to beg him. I beg, please, to show that you are forgiving me. Take it from my hand. He had to take it because they begged him. Not because he was poor. Let me tell you, neighbor, I have something. And you know why a lot of people always think they don't have anything? It's because they are looking at the man with five talents. They are looking at the man with two talents. They are not paying attention to the one that they have. There's something about you that is not common to all. Say here. I'm still showing you how to be thankful. Now, once you get to this point in your life, I'm telling you the fact. You will praise God. Now, look at the next question I want us to ask. Where did Noah get his thanksgiving offering from? Now, if you read that Genesis, let's go to that Genesis chapter 8, verse 20. Where did Noah? Where did Noah get his offering from? Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and took of every clean animal and of every clean bird and of an offered burnt offering on the altar. Ibolo Tiri. You know what I discovered? I wrote it down this way when I was studying. Shagad Abaske. Noah's offering teaches us that thanksgiving gift or offering should be pre planned. Now, it means that when Noah was going into the ark, as God was saying, take two to two, he was saying, at the end of this journey, I think I will need to thank this God that brought me and my family alone. Hello? Into this ark. So, he planned it. He's, listen, listen. Thanksgiving offering should not be accidental. Yeah, you need thanksgiving. You need thanksgiving. Ah, you need thanksgiving. Ah, ah, if you let me look, if you let me look. Ah, you need thanksgiving. You need thanksgiving. You need thanksgiving. No. We are quoting my rule. Quoting my queen way. They are. Olono. Olono. Last Sunday of the year, I'm very duper. Ah, can you imagine? If you are taken from the 222, two, two, the Bible will have said it. He will have ended the generation of a, of a particular animal. But from what he did, the Bible said from the clay, he had planned it as he was going into the ark that this God deserves something. That's why, hear me, the thanksgiving that God will accept is the one you do deliberately. Not the one that you do. You do because you were forced to do it. Somebody's compelling you. Christiana, oh, they do pe. Chikwe lugu guadu ori talo no chefu en Christiana ko ye ko do pe ni. Ti wano wa wuni ni juwa zoga. Ah, kama sapi mo kula o, kama da biyanku mo la o. Wa wa wa. No 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 no. No, no I planned it. At least we should learn from the life of Cain and Abel that God can reject a person's offering. The Bible says to. to and God rejected the, the offering of Cain. I, I won't take from you. Anything you are going to do for the Lord, make sure you are doing the kind of thing that God will accept. And if you want God to accept it, it must be done how? Deliberately. God is not hungry. God does not lack. Even his church doesn't lack. Especially if the servant of God is a genuinely called one. Whatever God does not pro 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 provide now, he knows that he's not ready for now. And he will relax. So, thanksgiving is not that I want to even do something to help church. No, 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 no. Whatever you are doing for the Lord, 
you are actually doing it for yourself. Am I communicating? You are not here with me. Oh. Listen, I wrote here. It means that Noah had, had, had gathered what he had in mind to give to the Lord while he was going into the ark. I wrote here, beloved, you should learn to plan your thanksgiving offerings very well. God, the omnipotent God, saw him, listen, while he was planning it, but waited for the day of execution. Now, read the next verse. I want to show you something as our next point. God must have seen him the way he was. You know, he's an omnipotent. He knows that Noah was gathering something for him. But God, he didn't see anything. God waited until the day that Noah presented his ark. Now, look at verse 21. And the Lord smelled a soothing aroma. Then the Lord said in his heart, you know why they use that word? And the Lord smelled a soothing aroma. It means that it touched God's heart. I wrote here, point four. God's reaction shows us how much God loves it when we show appreciation. You know how you... He, he, the Bible says he smelled a soothing aroma. Then the Lord said, uh -uh, God was touched. The man could do this for me. I wrote here, God's reaction shows us how much God loves it when we show appreciation. The Bible shows us that his offering, God saw as a sweet uh, uh, smelled, sorry, sweet before the Lord. God smelled it and called it sweet, which means God loves it when we recognize his goodness. God is happy. Many years ago, I was in my study. I was praying. I was saying, uh, you know, that's after I read the Bible, I take time to pray. So I was praying. I wanted to pray and I was now saying, Lord God Almighty, I thank you. I was just praising him. You, you are the one that divided the Red Sea into two. Lord, I thank you. You brought manna, Lord, from heaven for Israel. Lord, I thank you. You are the one that made, you know, I got to a point, I said, Lord, you are the one that made the walls of Jericho to come down. I just had to shut up. Ah. Now, with my level of spirituality, at least I know the voice of God from the voice of my thought and the voice of the devil. And I said, the voice of shut up I had is the voice of God. So I pay attention. Shut up. He now repeated it. I divided the red sea into two. Was it for you? When we lose, stop thanking me for the things I've done for others and start thanking me for the things I've done for you. Son, I, has, I said, sir, start to praise me now for the things I've done in your life. Ah, I said, daddy, I didn't know. I, I submit that one too. And I said, Lord, I want to thank you for your goodness in my life. You brought me a Muslim, a Mukaila from the Uriolowo's client. We are at Ojaba here. Urita Meni. And you gave me your call and changed my name from Mukaila to Prince Will. And I will speak. Doctors will listen and say, Amen. I will lift my hands. Great men will kneel down for me to lay my hands upon. Daddy, you look at me. A man that should be in, in Sumer packing biscuits. You decorated me with your calling. Ah, I now look again. I look again. I pick a song. You know, I started mentioning and I had God said, Son, you are on point. I will bless you more. Do you know that as I'm talking to you now, so many people have not gotten to the point in their life where they know what God has done for them. All they have is prayer points. They don't know what God has done. What has God done for you? 
if you calculate your life very well, are you supposed to be where you are now? Some of you also don't die. Will you thank the Lord? <laughs> I knew how to speak that those days is was pigeon. Ask for me now. What do we used to speak in our house? Pigeon. Good English. Where we where we won't see him. Ah, I look up again. I say, Lord. I'm now the one speaking English. And looks as if I am the brother of English. See, look up again. I'll pick up another song. This is not enough. No, 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 bother me. <laughs> I can't thank you enough. You are too much, Baba me. You deserve more than I'm giving to you. This is not enough, oh, Baba. This is not enough. I want to ask you, I'm summarizing. What actually has God done in your life? Or are you still in the category of those that will be saying, Lord, I thank you for manna from heaven. Are you, did you eat from the manna? And Lord, have you divided the Red Sea? Did you, were you part of them? But you actually had your own Red Sea. Abi, that stood in front of you. Why not try to remember that Red Sea? At least, if, if me, I forget everything. I remember my mom told me that when I was six months old, that my stomach used to sound like the start gen. That you hear, I see the generator is working. That she went to the MRS. They call MRS it's military, military uh, 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 hospital. The white man there said, this boy cannot last more than three or four hours. There's no need of us admitting him. Take him home. Go and prepare. He will die in three hours. Then you bury him. She said she was crying. She was crying. And she was going and she was making vow. Uh, if you can prefer protect my first son. You know what first son is to Hebrews? If you can protect my first son, he will be your servant. He will serve you for the rest of his life. Ah, Lord, I will not disturb him from doing your work. I didn't know, you know, I was not there. I was six months. I didn't hear all these things. It was when God called me into ministry and the family wanted me to do something else. She had an injury after. She now called me that she was cutting something and the knife cut her hand. And she said, why would knife cut my hand? He said, and she had the voice. He said to her, remember the covenant you had when this boy was to die. Leave him for ministry. She said that she was making this covenant she was going. She didn't know that elderly man. The man just stopped her and asked her, young woman, why are you crying? He said, the man told her, I, he told her, I told him what the doctor said. He said, the man said, bring out the, the boy. He said, the man touched my stomach and said, when you get home, go and put raw pap. We used to call it akamu. 
I told you in a pigeon we they speak for our family. Go put a camu inside water, cold water, turn them, give them drink. She said that was how the thing stopped. That was my own recipe. Now, when I grew up, I had several red seas. What's your red sea that you should thank God for today? Or have you forgotten? Forgetful people are never thanksgivers. You know, when Israel forgot the miracle of uh, God of the Red Sea, they got to the wilderness, they were asking for garlic and ginger. Imagine. Want it by bay and when you that's why I love that in Kaivele song. Let me summarize. So God's reaction towards Noah. Noah's offering shows us how much God is happy when we decide to show him appreciation. So this uh, morning, I want to lead the team of thanksgivers. Amen.